Hello again everybody and welcome back to the test flight preview series in the MiG-21 fish bed. And this video is going to close out the preview portion of the series. The simulation, as of this recording at least, is set to be released on the 18th of September. So chances are you're going to be watching this on the 17th, the day prior to the release. So you'll be able to do everything that you've seen me do in the series so far for yourself finally. And hopefully using some of the mistakes that I've made along the way and or maybe some of the good stuff that I've done, surely there was some of that at some point, you'll be able to get more out of the MiG once you do get it for yourself and start to fly it around. And, you know, I don't do reviews. You know, if I didn't highly recommend this product, I wouldn't be flying it. So, uh, you know, take take everything that I've done for what it's worth, but it is highly recommended as a product as you've seen so far throughout this entire series. So what I'm going to do to close out the preview portion is uh, fire up the Oculus Rift and have the Oculus Rift view on the left side of the screen and an external view on the right side as I go. And I'm going to do a single mission. It's one of the, it's not one of the, the like scripted uh, setup missions. So there are going to be no spoilers in this. It's just going to be a target practice mission. I'm taking the hardest option there is. And let me read through the description here. Uh, destroy the targets as they spawn one at a time. Targets are drones flying along the route similar to your route. They will use active jamming, passive countermeasures, and fighters and multiple aircraft will attack you. So, okay, this should be fairly interesting. Now, the mission briefing, of course, is a combat air patrol in the MiG-21. My loadout is R3Ss and R3Rs. So I have infrared and semi-active guided, uh, semi-active radar guided missiles loaded. I have ASO2s on my fuselage. Those are countermeasure dispensers. And I have a fuel tank, 800 liter fuel tank on my centerline station. I'm going to not take the fuel tank. That's just extra weight that I don't need. So I'll just go go up with the missiles and the countermeasures. I've already got the situation taken care of, and the objective is to use your missiles and the gun to destroy targets. Once you destroy one target, another will spawn. There are four targets total, and I'm going to have an AWACS aircraft giving me bearing range and altitude information on these aircraft as they pop up. So I'm expecting a Tupolev 142, a big, um, heavy uh, Soviet bomber. Sukhoi 34, sort of a multi-role aircraft derivative of the Sukhoi 27, C-130, and an F-16A. So 1700 departure, and let me duck into the mission planner real quick and see what we can see. Okay, it's going to be an air start, which isn't the greatest thing in the world, but at least it'll get this done quickly. It's just going to be one quick video to close out the series. And, okay, let me go to my loadout real quick. I've got a modified loadout that already has the fuel tank removed that I'm going to go with. And I need to set the radios up so that I can communicate with the AWACS aircraft. Now I have, I'll describe what's going on here. Now on the AWACS, they're set up to transmit on 251 megahertz AM. That's a UHF channel. On the MiG-21, I don't have any really UHF capable radio. So I have to go with what I have here, which is on the VHF band. I'll go with 150 for the AWACS. And I'll manually change the AWACS over to 150 megahertz. And now I'll be able to communicate with the AWACS on channel 1. And in case you didn't see what, what happened there, I changed the AWACS over to 150 megahertz, so I'll be able to communicate with the AWACS on channel 1. And this is where I would go in to make sure that the communications are set up the way that I would, would like, right here on this tab. Okay, and then I have, first up, an F-16A. Okay, that's going to be not easy, but okay, that'll be straightforward. And he's just out in front of me, so I should have him exactly off my nose as I get into the mission. Okay, from there, I've got the C-130. The next up is the Sukhoi-34. Then, assuming I survive that, I don't expect to... I'd be lucky to get by the F-16, frankly. But, okay, then I've got the Tupolev-142 out there up last. So, okay, the first two should be fairly easy, the 16 and the C-130. But, yeah, that Sukhoi-34, that's going to be a tough nut to crack. But we'll see how it goes once we get into the air and get things kicked off. So... Okay, really not much to plan out here. I'm just going to be flying just north of west as I get going. Follow, uh, follow uh, the direction of the AWACS aircraft and see how far I can get. So, let me go ahead and jump into the cockpit. Okay, picking things up in the cockpit. And what I always do is just sit here for a couple of minutes and let myself get adjusted. I've already done that. I'm not going to literally sit here for a couple of minutes, but... Okay, I just need to take stock of where I'm at. This is why I kind of dislike air starts. I have no idea what's set up. So I've got all my weapon switches in the correct position. Okay, everything is configured right on the gun side, or at least for an air-to-air -air missile engagement. 
Okay, I have Station 1 selected and I'm in the IR position. I'm going to start this off with semi-active radar guided missiles. See if I can get a, uh, a lucky a hit on this first F-16 as I kick the mission off. So I've got the infrared seeking missiles on my outboard stations and the semi-active radar homing on my inboard stations. So I want to go over to uh, position 2 on this switch and also to the SAH position on this switch to do my radar guided missiles. Okay, I've got my radar on, and at this point, I'm ready to kick it off, so there's nothing to do now except for hit pause and kick things off. Okay, visual, I've already got the target out there directly 12 o'clock. I'm going to go SAH, station 2, let me see if I can clear this out. I've got some ECM jamming in there, I had to press that to cut through the clutter. Can we go for a lock here? Okay, he's maneuvering to my right. Okay, I'm not going to get a lock on this one. Let me see if I can pick him back up visually. Okay, afterburner in. Okay, there he is. Now let me see if I can get a lock. Okay, got him. Let me see if I can pick off a missile here once I'm in range. Okay, I've got the afterburner in. Okay, looks like he's just running and climbing. Same as, uh, same as I am. Looks like he is yeah, still out there at my 12 o'clock. Okay, he's turning right. Just going to turn with him, maintain lock. Okay, almost within range. Okay, in range. Let me take this shot. Should be a fairly good shot. Okay, missile is tracking. Okay, impact. That, <laughs> that went extremely well. Far far better than I thought it would. Okay, that's one F-16 down. Okay, there he goes. Now, on to the next target, which is going to be a C-130. Okay, but first, let me kill my cockpit lights. I don't know if it's something that I just noticed, or maybe it was like one of the, one of the recent patches, but all the aircraft now start with the cockpit lights at full blast, which really annoys the heck out of me, frankly. I, I like the lighting, I like the effects, but I don't, well, I just don't like air starts and I don't like the lights being on in air starts. But hey, that's just me. It's not a complaint. It's just, uh, I don't like it. <laughs> but okay, let me see if I can find the C-130. Okay, let me go to channel 1, see if I can raise the AWACS aircraft. Now, F-7, and I never did figure out how to increase the text size so that I could actually read what I'm doing here, but... Okay, F-7. Let me go for f Four, which I think is going to give me a bogey dope. Dark star in field one one. Request bogey dope. Okay, what I'm hitting, I need to head back more or less field, one, to the one. west. Dark star, bra, two, four, three, four, at 13, okay, two four three for fifteen, thirteen thousand flanking. Let me come on around. Just got a little ways to go. Okay, 243, then 240, so presumably flanking right to left, 13,000 feet. Okay, radar. Okay, I reset the radar so that it's no longer in that filter mode for for jamming. I might need to do it depending on what uh, config this C-130 is in. Okay, so I should be, okay, 13,000 feet. I need to level off here. Just make sure that I'm below the target, or at least looking in an aspect so that the target is going to be above my uh, I guess the center of my gun sight so that the radar is going to be able to pick it up it doesn't look down so 2-4 I'm heading about 2-4-3 right now let me come around just to the left to touch okay visual off my right one o'clock let me see if I can lock this guy up let me go for let me see do I want another yeah I might as well do another semi-active uh, homing missile. Station 3, is that going to be right? 1, 2... I would have thought station... So 2, 3. Okay, yeah. I still haven't 100% figured out these Russian ways of doing the weapon station. It differs somewhat from which, what I see in the mission editor. and differs somewhat from what I'm used to being a US person, but... Okay, that should be the good setup for one more semi-active radar homing missile shot on this C-130. So let me see if I can achieve a lock here. Okay, good visual. Let 
I would expect it to be, yeah, it's probably a little too far out. It's a big aircraft. I've already got, I can already see it. Airspeed, 740 kph-ish. Okay, so just fine. I just want to worry about overshoot on this one. It's not going to be going too fast. I'm coming up on it on a, at a fairly good clip. I wonder, AWAX, if you give me a range real quick. So let me go F7. And let me just do the bogey dope one more time. F4. Dark star in field. One, one. Request bogey dope. And it appears to be in a right-hand turn. I don't think so. Um, okay. Well, in either case, I know I've got the target out here. I should be in range now. I'm just not getting a... Uh, it's not picking it up in the radar. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to... I just make a guns pass on this one. This will be an easy one. Okay, so gun arm. Let me just for the heck of it go to IR and call up a uh, one of my heat seekers. Okay, I've got a lock with a heat seeking missile at this point. I might as well just take this shot. There's a good aspect on it. Okay, I'll take this. Okay, missile away. Okay, spending some flares. Okay, impact. Well, I would have expected that type of missile to uh, possibly go after a flare. Okay, let me take some gunshots here. Oh, a little high. Okay, that's surprising. Am I seeing that correctly? Was that really no hits? Okay. Okay, 249 for 2, 7,000 cold, and that's him right there. That's going to be the primary threat. That's that SU-34. SU oh, that's a missile launch. Okay, break. <laughs> this isn't going to last long, I can tell. I couldn't evade it. Okay, yeah, I'm done. On fire, let me see if I can get out. I don't think I'll be able to eject with this much loading on the aircraft. No, definitely not. I'm done. <laughs> And boy, that was just out of nowhere. Okay. I mean, I saw it coming. I just couldn't get my hand down to... <laughs> wow. I just couldn't get my hand down to either eject some countermeasures or to... or to eject there at the very end. And yeah, that just kind of caught me by surprise. I tried to turn into the missile, but, I mean, it's a uh, modern fighter with... I wonder what type of missile that was. Possibly, uh... I should know that. That's, a. Uh... I should know on sight what a Soviet missile is, but yeah, I couldn't tell. But yeah, that I was just out outclassed and outmatched on that one. So, I'll tell you what, that might do it for this series. So unless I come up with something else that I want to look at, that's going to do it. So, you know, that's a look at the MiG-21 fish bed, the preview. This is a pre-release version that you've been watching all this time. So, you know, keep in mind that everything that you saw here could change when it comes to what I did to... You know, make things work or not make things work as the series progressed but I mean, it's highly recommended a lot of detail has gone into it that you can uh, you can see turn the use and a lot of attention to detail just on the you know just on the arc just looking around the cockpit is it's a feat in, in and of itself so I think I'm going to wrap this one up here folks so thanks again for watching and I will see you next time